Okay, I've got a picture of Jean. I'm going to turn Jean into David Blackner. <laughs> so I'm going to have a new layer here. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go for the brush tool and I'm going to paint kind of the area where David's beard it goes on. It looks just here. like David. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. I, I might just stop there. He could, he could do InDesign right just now. Just about there. And I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to add a bit of uh, noise to this. Yeah, that's fine. I Plenty find David noise. very noisy. Uh, I'm going to switch to the marquee tool, which is the marquee uh, tool. The marquee tool. Oh, okay. And cool. I'm going to draw a little box around there, and I'm going to use filter blur and radial blur. And I'm going to do a bit of zoom on there, so I push that out. So we've got that kind of fur effect, but it doesn't look too good. So I had changed the mode of this layer from normal to hard light, then all of the grey should disappear. Oh. There we go. I'm just going to disappear. And uh, thank you. Let's add a little layer mask on this, and then I can just paint out where we don't want it, because David has this kind of little, that kind of a beard effect, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, maybe darken this up slightly. We call there it we rugged go. and handsome. We call it now for the, uh, now for the hair. So I'm going to make uh, a new brush. Let's, um, I was going to build a brush, but I thought that was going to take too long. So here's a brush that I built earlier, and I'm just going to paint a bit of David's hair, <laughs> just going over the top there. How am I doing for time? You're doing great. You've got a minute there. and a half left. You've got Perfect. tons of time. Tons of time. David now has a dead raccoon on his head. That's great. In that case, I'm going to zoom Gene in Gene hasn't on felt here, that warm in years. And I'm going to select... He's in New Orleans. He's like, this is Gene. too much, bro. You see, Gene came here today having absolutely no idea what was going to happen to him, did he? <laughs> and he'll never speak of it again. <laughs> well, we have the photographic evidence, Gene. Oh, it's on video. You are marked for life. There we go. So I'm going to select those eyes, make a new uh, layer for the eyes. I'm going to fill them just with a bit of white here. Um, Whoa. And, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We, no we, can, we can make it a little bit better than He's this. Like, I am the keeper. How am I doing for time? 55, oh, plenty of time. 55 seconds. So I'm going to darken up just around those a little bit. And I'm going to paste in um, the couple <laughs> of eyeballs there, move them up. Uh, I only want those to show up, obviously, where they overlap the eyes underneath. So let's make a uh, clipping mask out of those. Maybe change the mode of this let's to make a multiply. Nightmare? So it darkens up. And uh, now oh. we've got Gene with his eyes, and we can look wherever we like. Um, I think Gene might be feeling a little cross at this point, so let's finish off by going to the uh, liquify filter. 15 seconds. Yeah, we've got time for this. <laughs> and just give him a very slight sneer on there. <laughs> Maybe slightly crosser. Five. There we go. Four, and we're done. Three. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Right Thank you for your loan of your head, Gene. Thank you for being a prop, Gene. <laughs>